This week, we're going to be talking about faithfully studying the Bible. Now, I'm going to read to you our memory verse. Remind us again. It's from 1 Timothy 6, 12. And it says, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, wherein though thou art, art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. And I'm going to remind us again kind of what this is talking about because it's a tricky one. It's basically Paul talking to Timothy here, and he's telling Timothy, keep on going, keep preaching the word, keep telling people the good news, because you are going to go to heaven. It says, lay hold unto eternal life, wherein thou art also called. He's called to heaven. So keep on going, keep sharing God's word, keep teaching, keep preaching, because you are going to go to heaven. And it says, that he had professed a good profession before many witnesses, which just meant that he had been teaching truth and really preaching good word and truth to people before before many people. And that's kind of what our verse is talking to us about, to keep on going, keep on preaching, keep on teaching, keep on telling people about God's word. So with all of this being said, we are going to throw it on over to Brother Dion. See you guys later. Hi guys, welcome back. So this week, uh, we are talking about the Bible, you know, and how important it is to, to study the Word and to read the Word. And, you know, we all know how special of a book the Bible is. And, you know, what makes it really special is that the Bible is the Word of God. Like, everything that's written in the Bible are the words from God himself that people, you know, wrote into a book. Uh, and I mean, you know, the Bible, it tells us who Jesus is. It tells us how to be saved. It tells, and it tells us how to live as Christians. And the only way for us to learn all the things in the Bible that God wants us to know is by reading it, by studying it. You know, we have to put in the time and devotion and, you know, we got to be able to study the word because the more that we study the word, you know, we know it almost like just, you know, second nature. You know, we just, we need to know the word so well that we can use it when we're witnessing and trying to reach other people. Um, and I mean, within the Bible, you know, it talks about um, in the Old Testament, you know, the it covers the, the history of God's people, the Jewish people, you know, and it contains hundreds of prophecies about the coming of Jesus and just, you know, all the things that were to happen in the New Testament. And when we go to the New Testament, it, you know, it covers the stories of Jesus being born, his ministry, his death, his resurrection. And, and it covers all the stories of his apostles, all the followers of Jesus, the people that preached God's word back in the New Testament. It follows stories of those people. And 
the important and even more important part that pertains to us and our future this sh the the new testament teaches us how to follow god and how to receive eternal life you know it has the the, the plan of salvation was covered in the new testament and that's so important for us you know we need to make sure that we're studying and 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 knowing how to how to live you know the new testament covers all those things of how god wants us to live and how we can please him and how to make heaven our home one day so and it's so important for us to study that you know and if we're going to study it and read it we'll know it so that we can one day make it to heaven and please god each and every day so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and pass it on to Sister Kellyanna, who's going to go ahead and give us our Bible story. Today's lesson is about a devout man named Simeon and a prophetess named Anna. They faithfully studied the scriptures and looked forward to the coming of the Lord. One morning, Anna noticed that Simeon seemed very happy. Simeon said to her, God spoke to me last night and gave me an incredible promise. He told me I would see the Messiah before I died. Can you believe it? The Messiah. Anna replied, Simeon, that's incredible. You've been coming to the temple every day and searching through the prophecies about our Savior. To hear God tell you that you would get to meet him is amazing. Simeon replied, you've been coming faithfully ever since you were a young lady. Maybe you'll get to see him as well. A little while later, on a different morning, Anna greeted Simeon and said, What verse about the Messiah do you have for me today? Simeon said, Last night I was reading Isaiah. A very special verse caught my eye. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Anna replied, That must mean the Messiah will be a little baby. And that makes sense. Everyone starts out as a little baby. Simeon replied, I guess we could stop looking for someone riding a white horse and carrying a sword. A little while later, Simeon came running in to meet Anna that morning and said, I found out where the Messiah will be born. Anna replied, Wow, where is he? Is it close to here? Simeon said, I was reading the words of the prophet Micah, and he said, The Messiah will be born in Bethlehem, in the city of David. Anna said, Oh, that is amazing. I was doing some reading last night as well. I found out the Messiah will be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. Wow, Simeon said. God with us? This is going to be a very special baby from Bethlehem. A little while later, Anna greeted Simeon one morning and said, I was reading Jeremiah yesterday. Not only will the, be, will the Messiah be from the city of David, but he will also be descended from King David. Simeon and Anna, and Simeon said, Anna, I think we are getting very close to seeing the Messiah. Caesar just had all the people return to their hometowns for a census. All David's descendants should be in Bethlehem right now. Then I was reading in Numbers, and it says there will be a star for the sign of the Messiah's coming. And about a week ago, I saw a very bright star appear for the first time in the sky. I cannot help but feel like we're going to see the Messiah very soon. And that's when it happened. Mary and Joseph entered the temple with baby Jesus. Immediately, Simeon and Anna knew that they were in the presence of the Messiah. Simeon said, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. From my eyes have I seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all peoples, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and glory to your people Israel. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you.
After praying that prayer, Simeon turned to Mary and said, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rising of many in Israel, and for a sign which will be spoken against. Yes, a sword will pierce through your own soul also, that the thoughts of my heart may be of many hearts may be revealed. Anna said, I have seen the Messiah. Oh, I've seen God's salvation. From now on, I will tell everyone I know and everyone I meet that God's chosen Savior has arrived on earth. Simeon and Anna faithfully served the Lord. They studied God's scripture because they knew how important it was. When they were studying the scripture, God was able to reveal things to them. This is how we know God's word is so important for us as well. When we are studying his word, he's going to give us answers to the questions we might have. Let's all try to be more like Simeon. So this week we've been talking all about 
just how important God's word is and how important it is for us to study his word and let his word into our heart. Sister Christina told us about how God's word is a living word and how it affects us and how it changes who we are. And it also can reveal things to us. Just like we learned, Simeon and Anna, they studied God's word and they were able to hear God and he was speaking to them through his word to tell them the Messiah is coming and this is where he's coming from and he's going to be a baby when he comes, all sorts of things like that. And they were able to recognize baby Jesus. They were able to recognize their savior when they saw him, which is amazing. So why don't you take a moment with me and let's just pray that God helps us to cherish his word. Let's thank him for his word. Let's pray that we allow him to affect us with his word as we're studying. We want a passion and a hunger for God's word. So why don't you take a moment, let's pray together. You can just close your eyes, you can lift your hands, you can lift your voice. God wants to hear you praying. So why don't you just take a moment with me and let's pray together. Jesus, I love you so very much. You are amazing and you are so good to us. Lord, you gave us your word. You gave us the Bible. You allow us to study that word and allow it to change our hearts. We thank you because it is a living word that can speak to us, that can reveal things to us, that can shape us and mold us. It's a powerful and great and mighty word, and I am thankful for it, Jesus. Lord, I pray that you would give me a desire to learn more about you, a desire to study your word and to hide it in my heart. Jesus, Lord, I pray that I would just remember just how important your word is, how important the Bible is. Jesus, I love you. And why don't you just take a moment? Let's worship God. Let's lift up some praise to him together. Hallelujah, Jesus. I love you so much. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. We worship you, God, and we give you praise and glory. Above all else, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. All right, guys. That was another awesome week of Bible study. Why don't we just Stay encouraged until we get to see each other again next time. And hopefully it's going to be in person very soon. Have a great week, Blast Zone. Bye.